also the the infrastructure here yeah. uh, forces you to develop some technique yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that you don't develop on a good training field. Let it let me say it like this. So we have the the paradox that until under 12, under 13, our teams are world class and can could possibly beat any uh, team in the world. Yeah. Yeah? Because we train uh, six to seven times a week. Uh, we have the best youth coaches in the country, we have a proper philosophy, and uh, then in, in sports science it's about volume. The more you train, the better you will get, of course. Yeah? True. So we can offer the kids this volume here, plus they have the passion. A problem for not only for us, but for many people I have uh, spoken with and also for the country, is conserving uh, that talent. Yeah. Once the children go into puberty, because of various different reasons, yeah. mm -hmm. I wrote a scientific paper about that, why or what kind of reasons there are. But uh, one reason, for example, is lo lack of proper infrastructure. You cannot train uh, complex tactics on the bumpy field. Yeah? Uh, and uh, so you can never know these tactics. Yeah? Yeah. So you never can compete with teams. Yeah? Uh, that have these tactics. Then, of course, uh, here you use in, in class eight and in form four, you're sitting in school from morning, morning till evening, evening, very late, yeah, and you have no time for sport, so you lose two years uh, in your talent development, basically. Uh, also, Coming back to the infrastructure, you don't have training lights. Yeah? Uh -huh, yeah. The children cannot go home too late. So uh, it's, it's quite uh, multifactorial reasons why we still struggle. Yeah? And this is exactly what we want to uh, target at our Homer Bay project, where we can combine uh, a solution for all those issues. Oh, indeed. If you're joining us, um, I'm joined, of course, with... Uh, uh, the Austrian ambassador to Kenya, His Excellency Dr. Christian Fellner, together with the CEO of Akakoro uh, Football Academy, uh, that is Lucas Mott. Uh, they're here to share this beautiful and shed light on this beautiful tournament, the inaugural tournament of the Europe Day Kenya Football Tournament, where the finals will be at Ulinzi. Personally, I am ready. Shoes set, socks set. Everything ready. I'll be looking like a true Europe Day footballer on that day. I'm even challenging uh, His Excellency also to, but he's keeping it a secret because he wants to surprise us. It's okay. We'll also <laughs> surprise you now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Indeed. Of course, uh, just before I bring in the uh, ambassador to share uh, later on, of course, about the significance of sports in development of a child, uh, I also managed uh, just uh, to ask uh, Kevin Danso, uh, the Austrian national. Uh,